All right, Deb, Crastonauts, my Spaboyan, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Last time we are here, we celebrated episode 100, and I falsely proclaimed myself as the biggest KSP series on the internet. Turns out I'm not. There are like two people with series bigger than mine. Um, I'll see if I can remember the names and put a link to them in the description. You should definitely check them out, because if they've put as much effort into their series as I have into mine, then it's got to be worth watching. But um, enough about that, let's move on to the game today. Um, today's going to be a split episode, I reckon. I definitely, definitely reckon. Um, one to cover a question that someone asked me in the, in the comments of the last video. I mean, only one person asked me this, but I think it's worth showing off regardless. And another, the, the second part of the episode is to show off something that you guys have probably seen before, but I'm going to reiterate it for my video series because everyone else seems to be doing it. But first off, Let's get to default. Right. Um, God damn it, Lisa, I need to get rid of that. Um, right, so, one person asked me, how did I do that very swish camera angle at the end of episode 100? You know, with the SRBs all exploding and whatnot. Well, um, let's uh, clear the pad. Get out. The episode 100 craft. <laughs> Ironically, uh, the 100 craft is 106 parts. If I took away a few struts here and there, I could probably get it to 100 parts just to be ironically insane. But um, yes, uh, once it decides to load up and not give me jip, aha, here we go. Ah, 100. Good times, good times indeed. So yeah, this is the thing that I used for the big explosion, but there is a little tr bit of trickery involved here. I will show you this now. Um, first off, we're going to get rid of this. Uh, I'm going to move my mouse and three, two, one, go. Ah, you see, you liked that, didn't you? Now that took some time. Do you want to know how I did it? Well, it involves a hell of a lot of work. What you are seeing now is a sped up version of what I have just done in that whole little time freeze thing. This is a camera mod that will allow you to do all kinds of crazy guff. It's pretty damn cool if you ask me. A link can be found in the description how to use this. If you're, say, one of these guys like Street Lamp or... Um, Anyone else who does like Kirby themed movies, like right, Ryan the Solar Gamers trailer for KSP 18 and whatnot, this is a must have mod. It's incredibly incredible and I like it. I like it a hell of a lot. So, in the description, make sure you check it. If you, if you ask me where the hell is the mod or what it's called, then you'll get a virtual slap in the face off me because you didn't pay attention. Alright, end flight. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back to the uh, space center and get the proper game loaded up. Let's go to the meat of the operation today then, shall we? Uh, now we're done with that. I think that was quite cool, very atmospheric, if it came out right during the editing process. Um, today's other next little technique is... Um, actually, you know what? I won't go through this. I will go through this, because I will show you afterwards. Um, for, all of, for all of you out there, you probably know who the Winter Owl is. He's like one of the, the cleverest people at this game, next to Scott Manley. Scott Manley's excellent with orbital mechanics and what space means and all that crazy shit. Winter Owl knows how to make craft. Now, one thing he's done recently that I've spotted is he has single-handedly solved the um, the space shuttle problem, the reason why you can't make shuttles in KSP because of the whole gimbling factor. Uh, like I said, he solved the issue. Now, some of you will recognise this mod from back in the day. This is the damned robotics mod. And basically what I've done here is I've taken the Sparrow, which I've aptly renamed the Falcon just for the sake of my series, even though it's not my design. Oh, technically this is. It's slightly different in a variety of ways, but um, yeah, let's not dwell on that too much. 
But yeah, the problem with shuttles in KSP is that um, the engines don't gimbal enough. That means uh, gi what gimbal basically means is that these little nozzles here they kind of shift and shimmy around to give kind of direction or thrust and whatnot. Now. Um, what this does is that you can customise how much gimbal these engines have on them. Let's get this launched now, just show you what I mean. This may take one or two attempts because it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's pretty damn cool regardless. Ah, right, here we go. So, first thing we need to do is now we have our little servo control thingy bobby right here I'm going to just tilt the engines out ever so slightly that should be enough to do what I need to I'm going to engage the SAS and I'm going to throw on the um, the engines and the, SAS, and the what's it called right the gear way let's get some tilt to sort this out a little bit because quite frankly we're not going in a, in a steady direction All right, okay let's, let's fix the tilt and now we're going to do a rotate in there as well to get this proper shuttle like. As you can see, the shuttle's not really giving us much of a hard time because of the fact that we now have a uh, customised gimbal on our engines. Um, this can get itself all the way into orbit. Oh god, what am I doing? I am going the wrong way. Right there, go this way. Right, there we are. That's much better, much better. But yeah, um, we can control how much gimbal these engines have and how much tilt we want this thing to actually pull off. And quite frankly, it's really useful. A space plane that would barely just about get to, um, what's it called, to orbit on its tank of fuel will now entirely get into orbit and to the moon. In fact, that's what we're going to do with this shuttle today. You know what, we're getting some tilt forwards ever so slightly, so I'm just going to throw the gimbal out a little bit uh, just to help us out a bit. Save us from going the wrong direction. Right, there we go. How are we doing? Right, we're getting some more tilt on, so we'll just keep on playing with the gimbal. Oh, now we're getting tilt on the other way. Right, good. Right, we are now at the point of where our gravity turn should be, so I'm just going to casually get down. I'm going to thrust down a little bit because I want to see how much I can actually do this with. Uh, and I do want to keep an, uh, an eye on the general tilt of the craft as well because as it gets emptier and emptier you'll have to adjust the gimbal so it um, stops rotating a certain way. Now as you can see we've got some gimbal on here so just straighten up them and that should, oh no yeah we're moving up a little bit aha here we go uh, okay yeah we're starting to tilt a bit more because we're getting emptier so just keep playing with the gimbal and eventually you will get exactly where you want to be right now we're going back the other way tilt it back out again let's, let's thrust down just a little bit more and um, we're getting quite high now so i'm going to uh throw down some more lateralness oh god here we go we're starting to tilt big time so fix the gimbal you have got to be mega mega <coughs> excuse me mega quick on the uh the whole gimbling thing it's it's it can go horribly wrong if you don't keep on top of it like really badly you can set it up to key so you can like do it in key presses but I don't particularly like doing that with this one I don't know why I just prefer having it on little buttons I can give little clicks oh god here we go we're starting to really gimbal out there we are fix it fix it all right okay fix it a bit more jobs are good in all right okay as you can see, we have made great progress on our orbital ascent pattern here. And we've still got quite a bit of fuel. I'm going to take it down some speed as well. Um, how are we doing? Are we slightly moving? Yeah, we are. I'm going to throw out some gimbal to correct that shit. Oh, looks like we, uh, we're pretty much level on the engines now. That, that, that's good news, right. All right, let's get you right down to... Uh, there, shall we? And now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to control the tilt with the aid of gimbals. No, no, no key presses, just gimbals. Uh, let's slow this down a bit actually as well uh, and check out how we're doing on the map. Uh, as you can see, we're building out pretty damn fast, so uh, let's see if we can't not do something really good about this. Oh, yep, we're starting to gimbal really badly again. Uh, sort that out, start to thrust the other way and just be ready to kill the engines. Three, two, one, kill. Right. That'll do. Excellent snake. Right, let's get those uh, engines back the right way. And we'll begin our decoupling stage. Alright. We need that. We need to turn that off. And I'm going to disconnect and begin just casually tipping away. 
We Jebediah came in looking happy as a lamb. Can't be bad. Right, here we go. So we're going to flip this bad boy. And that should be perfect. Right. Now, because of where we are in our orbit, we've got some serious catching up to do to make this thing into a proper full-on orbit. But it can be done regardless. I mean, we are at a grand total of just over 100,000 metres. Uh, that, that's good news. 100 kilometres above the surface. And make sure my engines are correctly gimbaled and we're going to go. Uh, okay, so we're getting some gimbal tilt there. So let's see if we can not fix that. <laughs> Right, there we go. So, so, so it is a bit of a finicky thing. This is. I could probably do something about the uh, the uh, tilt if I were to do the. Oh, what's it called now? Where you mess around with the. Oh God, the adjusting the yaw and shit. Uh, I can't can't remember what it's called when you play around with it. Shite. Oh well, 117 by 104. That's still not bad. And as for average fuel used, we are we are huge on. <laughs> on the amount of fuel we've got. So that's pretty damn awesome. From here though, I'm gonna take it a little bit a, step, a little bit of a step further to show you the um, the benefits of having this. So let's get this out. Whoop whoop it's not cool. It's not cool at all. Now I don't want I don't want to go too far out. But I also don't want to um uh, okay I don't want to have that problem so we're gonna bring it around a bit um Aha, uh -huh, here we are. This is where it look, starts to look a bit more like what it should. Alright, how, how high are we there for periapsis? 234. Can we bring that down a little bit? 444. 170. 33. Now that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Let's find our marker on the map. <coughs> Get our engines back to tilted at zero position. Right, here we go. Good times. Good times are had by all in the Kerbal Space Program. 21 seconds for burn. I've got 21 seconds to go. I've got 21 seconds to go. If you let me know when you're in the studio, I've got 21 seconds before I gotta go. Classic. Who remembers that shit? You know what? I should have equipped some lights because we're going to be going on. Oh, possibly not the dark side of the moon. That's good news. Alright, come on. Here we go. I've just ever so slightly passed that point. But uh, never mind, eh? We are going to burn out, and I'm going to control the gimbal with the power of gimbling engines. Right, okay, if you want to hold there, that, that, that'll do me just fine. And keep an eye on my fuel. There needs to be some sort of... Oh, of course there is, isn't there? Derp. Right, okay, we're starting to go out quite a bit here, so I'm going to cause that to piss off. I'm going to add this manoeuvre here. And we are going to perhaps maybe... Get some minute thrust on just just to do this here. Aha, here we go. So I'm just gonna burn this down casually, casual as you like. To approximately oh god, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Um uh, okay, can you give me a better oh shit. Uh, uh ah Whew. Right there, yeah, there we go, that'll do. So we're going for a very close intercept to the moon. Oh wow. Since the planet became darker on the dark side because of lack of sun, like, you really do get some very nice atmospheric effects just as you're coming up to the crest of it all. But that's not what we're after. What we're after is that bad boy over there. So, um, bring us in close, Captain. Very close indeed. Um, so long, sucker. And we've got just under half our tank of fuel. Again, this is... Keys. Right, okay, thank fuck for that. <sighs> I thought I'd ruin the recording then, Jesus Christ. Right, here we go. Right, so we're coming round this screaming pretty much. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to normalise my orbit around the moon. We're going to come back round to this face here. I'm going to do a burn back towards the planet. Um, one thing I am going to do as well, uh, we've mentioned to all this, is I'm going to fix this bloody orbit. It doesn't look particularly straight, but that's no problem. I'm just going to do it like this, I think. Um, I'm not quite on the periapsis there, I don't think even. No, I'm going to get more on the periapsis because I don't want it to drop any lower than it is. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, fucking hell, Jesus Christ. Alright, okay. Yeah, look at the state of that now. Um, I need to fix that, so... 
ad manoeuvre. Um, how are we doing for overall fuel consumption? What is that there? 388. That is not what I wanted. Um, right, okay, that'll, that'll have to do. Uh, it's got to take three seconds of burn at max. We should have that. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, we just got to find the point of where we're at. Okay, that seems good. What I'd like to do is I'd like to get the... Uh, we'll go for two orbits and we'll get it down quite low. Or, or should I just boost it back up? We are over the surface of the moon and we can have a good look at what's going on. I think I might just actually do that for this. So, uh, let's get to that point. Okay. Thrust it and done. Uh, not quite actually, um, almost. It'll do, it'll do, it'll do. So how are we doing for... Ooh, we are low, we are low indeed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fly out towards this bit and boost out the periapsis just a little bit. So we kind of got a slingshot method coming back from the planet. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, I can get us on the light side as well, which um, might be a bit of a pain in the ass to do, but... Never mind. Oh shit, I forgot that. I've still got that there. Then I get rid. Alright, here we go. Ever so slightly on the thrust. Right, I think we may just about do this. Resources. Yeah, I think we've got this down, so that's not so bad. Now our orbit is equalised. 366, 380. Yes, it's not quite e equalised, but it's good enough. So. The next point of call is getting me so I can come back on the um, the light side of the planet. So you go for a, a merry trek there, and now we shall head back to our craft. So where are we looking at now? Where, where's our orbit? Um, we're almost there actually to the burn point in, in uh, question. So we're going to get here. I'm going to begin a very slow burnout. Now this should give us some really nice re-entry effects and maybe even some bullet time uh, effects coming up if I can get it to look good. So now all I'm going to do is hope to god that the 35 seconds I've got of burn time will get me back. So to help me out I'm going to get the SAS out, uh, the RCS should I say. We've got a lot of monopropellant, a hell of a lot of monopropellant and um, I think if the engines don't get us home which isn't looking too good about now. Oh, hello. Here we go. Here we go. Um, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, God. All right. Okay. So, uh, how are we looking? Monopropellant. Um, oh, God. Wow. That's going very, very slow. So, Let's see if we can do something about this a lot nicer. Oh god, what, what the hell is going on here? Um, right, you want to be rude about it? We'll be rude about it. We'll do this on one time speed then. No, I don't want to do it like that. Uh, I want monopropellant to go down. I also want periapsis to come down. That needs to be below 30, I would imagine. Okay, we're doing well, we're doing well. Yeah, I think we might actually do this here. Yeah, I think we've definitely got this down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Four, four, three, two. Now, okay, so that's going down faster than um, that. So that is good news. 35, 64, okay. Entirely powered on RCS. Okay, so not, if I'd done this a bit more sensibly, then um, I suppose I might have actually done it, but it looks like we're still going to be able to pull this off. Okay. We're in the atmosphere, and right, 20 is probably about the best we're going to get, so let's go for that then. Ah, right, here we go. Right, just check to see if that the periapsis is still, oh god, 7,500, so that's not too bad I suppose. Let's get down there. Ah, Kerbin, home sweet home. Turn the RCS off, we don't need it no more, and throw ourselves up, hold yourself, hold yourself, and there. No, there, not there, there. Alright, uh, here we go. Now, we are going to be coming at this planet with some 
goddamn pelt. Uh, I don't think we're going to quite make Kerbin, uh, though Kerbal Space Center. Although, to be fair, I have got it pretty damn close here, and that's just purely off guesstimates. Nah, we're going straight over that. We might make the, uh, the second island. I hope we can make the second island. Alright, let's get this down on, the, uh, down on the ground, shall we? How far is the land between here and there? Uh, uh, so, Periapsis is at there. So, let's see if we can get this... Oh, no, we can't. Um, let's get the RCS out see if we cannot extend that out a little bit. Because otherwise we're going to be going in the water here, and then it's not going to be a successful mission. Although, to be fair, this isn't really a successful mission. This isn't just me dicking about for the sake of dicking about. Bye bye KSC. I can't. If I'd have managed to hit that from off the moon, then I'd have been highly impressed with my own skills. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now this should be some extreme. We're hit. We're coming in at 3,000 meters per second. That's not your normal deorbit from the uh, the moon uh, deorbit from lower Kerbin orbit kind of thing, really, is it? As you can see, the inside components are not really getting heated up, but the bottom of it is like on fire. This re-entry is on fire. Yeah, that was pathetic, I know. I'm sorry. But still, should we um, do this? Time freeze! Yeah, it does not like you getting up right nice and close and personal for that uh, re-entry effect. Get off my screen. How dare you. <laughs> but um, actually, let's get that back up and just reset the camera. There we go. Good times. Good times I had by all in the Kerbal Space Program. Well, there you go. You've seen shuttles and you have seen um, some good camera trickery. So get creating people. Um, I'm not going to show off this landing because we're not going to make it to land, let's be fair. We're going to go crashing into the sea. In fact, I'm just going to do some time warp and let's see how this all goes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, hey, 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 hey. Are we not supersonic here? Well, where the hell are my supersonic effects? How the hell are you supposed to get supersonic in this game? God damn it. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. If you have uh, not already done so, hit the subscribe button. Takes two seconds. Uh, it takes even a little bit longer if you don't have a YouTube account. If you like this video, you want to see more, you want to know when they come out, create a YouTube account, hit the subscribe button. You will know because it will be in your list of things to watch. So yeah, thank you very so much, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out.